Hey, I didn't have my scrolling stuff on. Hi there. How's everybody doing? So, <laughs> welcome to Monday. What happened to my scrolling? Oh, I didn't click that box. If I were to click that box, then you would have seen this. Welcome to Tai Chi. Today is Tai Chi for everybody. I'm honoring my mother's birthday today. Thank you for joining us. And back around to Welcome to Tai Chi with Craig Miller. All right. It helps if you click the box. Oh, well. All good plans go astray. And it looks like I need to center my camera. Uh, hold on one second. Oop, wrong way. Go that way. Go that way. There we go. Okay. Hi there. Welcome to Monday. Um, getting towards the end of August. Pretty amazing, right? Um, good to see everybody. Um, today, uh, August 23rd, um, would have been my mother's 93rd birthday. She was born in 1928. My mom is the reason that I got into um, doing Tai Chi. It is, be it is because of my mother that I am that I am doing Tai Chi. Um, so we're kind of honoring to my mom with today's broadcast. All right, today today's stream uh, is in dedication to my mom. She passed away in 2014. Um, she had Parkinson's. Um, she took a fall in the bathroom, broke her hip, and uh, she didn't didn't survive two weeks after breaking the hip, her hip. So, pictures breaking up. Yeah, I'm getting an error message about smooth streaming. Usually that kind of smooths out. Um, so I'm going to give it five or ten minutes and and see what happens and see if it smooths out. I'm watching my live feed and I just waved at you. I'm waiting for the wave. Yeah, there's a huge delay. Yeah, it's delaying a little bit. Let's see if that smooths out. Okay. Um, hang on. What's it telling me? Oh, come on, people. All right. Let's see. Um, anyway, we're going we're gonna to wait and see if it kind of smooths out a little bit. Okay? Because um, if I... The only way to fix it is to go off and reboot all of my equipment, which is like 10 minutes off air. So by the time it gets all rebooted and I get restarted up and set everything. So I would prefer not to do that. So it's fine on your iPad and TV. Okay, well, um, it's showing me that there's an error message here. So, um, and Jeannie, thank you for your email. I didn't get a chance to get back with you, but that was a great email. Uh, you talked about honoring I believe it was your mother or your brother or um, that, that was a great email and I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to respond to it been helping um, my daughter move all weekend into college so um, but I did get it and I had warm thoughts so thanks for sending that along Jeannie I appreciate it uh, let's go ahead let's get started let's do some Tai Chi <clears throat> pardon me let's do some Tai Chi today um, I thought there were, oh I know what it was I think it's two weeks from today, isn't it? Is Labor Day? I believe so. Let me check my calendar. Yes, two weeks from today is Labor Day. There will be no Monday class on Labor Day. Looks fine on your iMac. Okay. Um, so, Jenny, if it's breaking up on your end, it might be your internet. So, you may want to try and reboot your computer. If uh, two other people are saying it looks okay, I'm seeing a feed and I'm seeing it jump a little bit because I have a live feed and, th and then I have what you guys are seeing, which is delayed. So I'm seeing it jump a little bit on that. Um, and it's giving me this error. Uh, I'm not receiving enough video. YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. So um, technology, isn't it lovely? Um, two weeks from today, Labor Day, no class. All right. All right. Welcome. It's good to see you guys. Hope we get to see each other in person very soon. Um, who knows? We just had a good friend pass 
uh, from COVID. I uh, hadn't seen her in a while, but went to church with her. One of the most amazing Christian people you'll uh, ever meet. Um, and she passed away um, pretty suddenly uh, yesterday. Uh, so sad, 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 sad. She was an amazing Christian, touched a lot of people, uh, amazingly creative, and uh, did some amazing uh, vacation Bible camps. Um, the ideas and concepts that she came up with uh, were absolutely amazing. Uh, such a creative mind, such a Christian person. So, and she died of COVID yesterday, so uh, way too young, way too young. All right, let's do some deep breathing to get us started. Standing in the Wuji position, knees bent, tailbone is dropped, head is lifted by the silk thread. Picture and sound is not in sync for me on my iPad jerky too. Okay, Anita, hey. Um, hmm. The only way that I can, f let, let's give it till, uh, boom, let, let, let's give it a little bit, see if it smooths out. Sometimes it does this. I think a lot of people use YouTube at this time. So um, just let's, let's try and see if we can work through it, okay? Um, if the picture is jumpy, then that means you need to be even smoother. How's that, okay? All right, let's begin. Inhale and exhale. <clears throat> inhale and exhale inhale and exhale push the hands in front of us next inhale hands up in front of the heart exhale gently push the palms forward inhale hands back up in front of the heart Exhale, relax the hands down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. <clears throat> Pardon me. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, we're going to do it one more time since I've already forgotten how to count. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Arms over the head next. Inhale, hands up in front of the heart. Exhale, gently push the palms towards the ceiling. Inhale, hands back up in front of the heart. Exhale, relax the hands down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. Arms to the side. Big, deep belly breath in. Breathe out, push out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, <clears throat> pardon me, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Arms in the diagonals. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale 
and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, hands back up in front of the heart. Exhale, relax the hands down. Flap the arms like bird wings. Hey, my error message went away. Your picture should be smoothing up in just a few minutes. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And lastly, gathering chi. Big, deep belly breath in. And long, slow breath out. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Beautiful. And there you have it. That's our breathing exercises. Um, Jenny and Anita, check in. Make sure. Let me know that your picture is okay. It should be pretty much okay now. My error message went away and it doesn't look like it's jumping quite as bad now. So that's what usually happens. I think a lot of people get on and use the stream. Um, and I, th I think uh, my guess is YouTube gets a little overloaded sometimes. All right, and you need a drink of water. Hold on one second. As I slurp my water. Okay, it's okay now? Good, 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 good. Thanks, thanks for letting me know. All right, warm up exercises, working from the neck down, um, mixing the breathing with those warm up exercises. Let's begin. Inhale. Chin tuck to start with, exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Looking side to side. Inhale to prayer hands. Tai Chi ball, left hand on top. Exhale, right hand, right shoulder. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, all better. Good, good. Thanks, Anita. Thanks for letting me know. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale back to prayer hands. Exhale, relax the hands down. Forward shoulder circle. Shoulders back, up, inhale. Forward, down, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Reverse. Forward, up, inhale, back, down, exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Gathering chi, gently reaching for infinity. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Touching heaven and earth. Inhale to prayer hands. Exhale, left hand up, right hand down, stretching the spine. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale back to center. Prayer hands. Exhale, relax the hands down. Carrying the ball side to side. Inhale to prayer hands. Tai Chi ball left hand on top, not moving the hips, just the upper body. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale the ball over, back to prayer hands. Exhale, relax the hands down. Hip exercises, side to side, one quick note. Uh, make sure you have a chair next to you if you need it, all right? Take that chair, turn it sideways. My veterans know this. My veterans probably don't even need the chair. Um, but if you're new, take that chair, turn it sideways. Make sure that you have something to hold on to. Make sure that you are safe, okay? Inhale to prayer hands. Exhale, gently pushing to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, gently pushing left. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale back to center. Exhale, relax the hands down. Forward and backward hip exercise. Weight shifts right. Inhale, left heel. Exhale, left toe. Inhale on the heel. Exhale on the toe. Inhale and exhale. Back to center, other side. Inhale, right heel. Exhale, right toe. Inhale, heel. Exhale, toe. Inhale and exhale and back to center. Beautiful. Heel kick side to side. Not heel, well, not side to side. Heel kick both sides is what I meant to say. Use your chair. That's the other thing I meant to say. Weight shift. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, 
exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more time each side. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Bow stance. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more time each side. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. And we'll finish it off with the ankles, weights on the right. Inhale, heel, exhale, toe. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Weight shift. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Weight shift. Inhale, little toe, exhale, big toe. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Weight shift. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale and come back to the wuji position and there you have it. that's a warm-up exercise shake your legs loose good job everybody by the way thank you to whoever pushed the like button got three likes it's a 50 percent that's good okay also sorry the picture quality was the way it was um, the only thing that I've seen that sometimes fixes it is to like get off the air, reboot all of my equipment, and then get back on the air. That takes probably close to 10 minutes. Um, certainly a solid five minutes by the time it reboots and I have to go, because I have to go to several different screens to set up and get this picture so I can see comments and everything at the same time. So um, I found it's usually best just to wait it out and it seems to get better, which indicates because I've done that, I've gone off screen and, or like rebooted and come back and it didn't get any better. It seems like it's something on YouTube's end and so I need to wait for YouTube to fix up what they, whatever they're doing. So anyway, so thanks for uh, working through that. That's something the ancient Chinese masters never had to deal with, right? All right, um, let's do our leg strengthening exercise. By the way, I'm concocting a chapter three for this. We do two chapters. I'm concocting a chapter three. We'll see how long it takes to do it. Weight shifts, left, right foot, cat stance. Because I know this is getting too easy for you guys, right? Tap, right toe out in front, empty. Back into the cat stance. Tap, right toe out to the side. 
cat stance. And tap right toe behind us. Cat stance. And back to Wu Ji. Other side, weight shifts right, left foot, cat stance. Tap left toe out in front, empty. Cat stance once again. Tap left toe out to the side. And cat stance. Tap left toe behind us. Cat stance. And back to Wu Ji. Awesome. Shake your legs through. That's chapter one. You guys did awesome. I'm sure of it. <laughs> All right, chapter two, additional weight shifting. Setting the foot down empty, shifting the weight. Keep those two separate. Don't try and blur them together, okay? Weight shifts left, right foot, cat. Tap, right toe out in front, empty. Set the right foot down and weight shift right. All the weight goes right, tap or float left foot behind us. Set the left foot down, no weight on it. Shift weight left and right, cat stance. Tap right toe out to the side, empty. Set the right foot down with no weight on it. Now shift weight right, all the weights right, tap or float the left foot. Set the left foot down, weight shifts left and right cat. Tap right toe behind us, empty. This is the tough one. Set the right foot down with no weight on it. Shift weight back onto the right and then tap or float left foot in front of us. Then set the left foot down. Weight shifts left and right cat. And back to Uji. Other side, weight shifts right, left foot, cat stance. Tap, left toe out in front, empty. Set the left foot down. Weight shifts left, all the weights left. Tap or float right foot behind us. Then set the right foot down. Weight shifts right and left cat stance. Tap, left toe out to the side, empty. Set the left foot down, weight shifts left, tap or float the right foot. Then set the right foot down, weight shifts back to the right, and left cat stance. Tap left toe behind us, empty. Set the left foot down with no weight on it, Shift weight back onto the left, tap or float the right foot. And then set the right foot down, weight shifts right and left cat. And step into Wu Ji. Beautiful, all right. Shake those legs loose. Like I said, starting to develop a chapter three on that one, but just before you get too excited, just remember each chapter gets a little tougher. All right. Yeah, I don't know if I need to do that or not. What is going on? Uh, okay. Heard something strange out front. Wasn't sure what it was. Okie dokie. Let's do our hand and neck exercise. I get a lot of 
uh, request in my live classes. People are really enjoying these hand exercises as of late. So, pointer finger and thumb, nice circle, interlock the two. Tips of the other three fingers, gently pushing the palms towards one another. And relax. Then middle finger and thumb, beautiful circle, interlock those two. Tips of the other three fingers and gently push the palms towards one another. And relax. Ring finger and thumb, beautiful circle. Interlock those two. Touch the tips of the other three fingers and gently push the palms towards one another. And relax. And then the pinky and the thumb, beautiful circle, interlock, tips of the other three fingers and gently push the palms towards one another. And relax. Beautiful neck exercises, figure eights. Tai Chi was a really neat touch point for my mother and I. Um, when mom was diagnosed with Parkinson's, it was right after she had a mastectomy. It was like three or four months after she had the mastectomy, she was diagnosed with Parkinson's, which is actually quite common. Usually there's a triggering mechanism uh, with Parkinson's. Uh, something happens, significant happens, and then you're diagnosed with Parkinson's when you get to the center, stop and reverse. So she had had a mastectomy, was diagnosed with Parkinson's. Now I knew about Tai Chi, but I had never done Tai Chi before. Um, and had a couple people at church uh, that were taking Tai Chi who were friends of Robin's and mine, and we talked with them, and um, they invited us to attend a class with them. And so we did. And it just so happens the guy who was running the class I had known for many years and had fallen out of touch with them, and he was teaching the class. Um, I was going to uh, go to class, get mom interested, so I'd go three, four classes, get mom interested, and then I wouldn't go anymore, and mom would be all interested in Tai Chi, and she would do Tai Chi, and it would help her. Well, we make plans and God laughs, I like to say. Um, so I found out, and I was in my mid-40s at the time, that I was uh, sleeping better, I was feeling better, I noticed my balance had improved. Um, and this was all in like three or four weeks time. So I decided I'm, I'm enjoying this. I'm going to stick with it. Um, and so I did. Um, and so mom and I kept going together and always had a good relationship with my mom. Um, and so this was like a weekly touch point. I would drop by, I'd pick her up. We go to Tai Chi together. Um, it was a really cool thing. And we did that pretty much for the rest of our lives. Um, went to Tai Chi together and we moved through different stages. Um, at one point I was at one class and the teacher didn't show um, and I said I've never led a Tai Chi class before but I, I don't mind public speaking so I'll lead the class if you want and she was like that would be great the leader of the class so that would be great so I did and it was a train wreck um, but I learned um, and then he started grooming me to become a, uh, an instructor and voila that's where I'm at today um, and like I said I did did Tai Chi with mom for the rest of her life whether um, it was both of us being students and then me teacher and her student um, and then in the later chapter of her life um, at the uh, at the nursing facility she lived in I was teaching Tai Chi there uh, to people with Parkinson's and other people and she was a part of that class also uh, so it's been a really good touch point. So thank you for letting me elaborate on that a little bit. And that's why I think of mom uh, as I do Tai Chi. I mean, if she hadn't gotten Parkinson's, I probably wouldn't be teaching you Tai Chi right now. So it's strange how all of that happened. And um, I, you know, would never want to wish Parkinson's on anyone. Um, but doing the Tai Chi made her Parkinson's better. Um, but her getting Parkinson's has helped made a lot of other people healthier. Um, and that's the way I look at it. And that's quite a legacy to, uh, for my mother to leave. Is, and that's one that my mother would like, is that she was able to help people 
be healthier and happier. So, um, yeah, life seems to balance itself out. Yes, indeed it does. Indeed it does. Um, anyway, so thank you for letting me share that with you. I appreciate it. She would have been uh, 93 today. Um, so we're going to go out and have a dinner tonight with my sister and my girls and talk more about mom. Tell some funny stories about mom. She was amazing. She could light up a room. She was a uh, very, very social person. In fact, okay, quick story, then I'll shut up. Um, so my mother was a very social person, and everywhere she went, she would know somebody. And it was pretty amazing because she didn't grow up here in St. Louis. She only moved to St. Louis after she was married. Um, but everywhere she went in St. Louis, it, it got to be a family joke where we would go to the ball game and we'd say, okay, how long till mom sees somebody that she knows? And we would actually like, you know, ha almost take bets on it. Uh, how long? Well, five minutes, 10 minutes, half an hour. Everywhere we'd go, she'd meet somebody. And it got to the point where it wasn't only in St. Louis. You could travel with her outside of St. Louis. And I'll be doggone if she didn't know somebody uh, where, when she went somewhere. Um, and the amazing thing is, is not only did she know them, but she would know uh, she would remember the names, which I never had a gift for that. She could remember their names. She could remember their kids' names. And she could remember, like, her, the, the kids when they got married and they had kids. She would remember the names and the birth years of all of the kids. It was absolutely amazing to watch her. Um, and to watch her with people was like watching an artist paint a picture. Um, uh, she was just, uh, she had just these amazing social skills to her. Um, so it, it was really, thanks guys. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Jeannie. Yeah, um, she, she, was, she was quite a lady. She was quite a lady. Uh, she, she, she saw a lot of changes in her lifetime. So, all right. So we are going to do a form. I totally got off track there. I'm sorry. Just to... Thank you for giving me a moment to honor my mom. Uh, let's do Tai Chi for arthritis. Let's start off with that. And then I think we'll probably do Tai Chi for her diabetes. And that will probably take care of today. It flew by quickly. So let me set up the music. We'll do Tai Chi for arthritis part one and part two. Um, all right. Thank you for letting me take trip down memory lane. Um, like I said, mom and arthritis are kind of, mom, mom and Tai Chi are kind of intertwined, as it were. All right, Tai Chi for arthritis, part one, part two, with music. Ah, let's see how we do with this, all right? Commencement.
Part 2. Wow, timing can't get a whole lot better than that. Nice, very nice. Wow, man, that timing was gorgeous. Let's just stop there. Just kidding. <laughs> Quit while we're ahead. No, we're ahead. Let's keep trudging on. Trudging, no, Tai Chi on. Um, okay, that was nice. I really liked the timing. That felt really nice. Um, love that. That's a great way to start off a Monday. All right, so let's move on to the Tai Chi for Diabetes form. Okay, so we've been working on this on the Wednesday class. Um, so good, like moving through jello. Hey, I like that. Cherry or green jello, which is your favorite? A red jello or green jello? Or the orange jello is pretty good too. Mom used to make jello with bananas in it. She'd like slice up bananas and put those in the jello. That was yummy. Um, all right. Uh, like butter. It's like butter. <laughs> all right. Uh, so, Tai Chi for diabetes. Let's walk through it. I'll cue you as we go through it. And I'll have my back to you and do this in uh, the follow on. And I just noticed my battery pack says I'm down to one. All right, I'm going to see if my battery pack lasts me. My battery on my microphone may go out. Okay, we'll see. I'll keep glancing back to see if it's working. Okay, all right. Tai Chi for diabetes. 
Um, am I standing in the right place? Yes, probably here. It's good. Okay. Tai Chi for diabetes, the Yang style of Tai Chi. Giving myself plenty of room. All right. Commencement. This is the same. The opening and the cloud hands are the same as what we do in Tai Chi for rehabilitation. So weights on the right. Step out empty left. Center the weight. Float the hands up in front of us. Turn the palms in. Open and close one time. Inhale. Exhale. Cloud hands three times to the left. Yang style. And we begin our mantra step. Stop. Shift. And sweep. Step. Stop. Shift. And sweep. Step, stop, shift, sweep, step, stop, shift, and sweep. Step, stop, shift, come back over to the right like we're going to do it again. Stop sign, float the left hand up, back into prayer hands, open, and close. Fair Maiden works the shuttle to the left. Weight shifts right. And back to center. Weight shifts left. Right hand blocks, left hand pushes. And come back to center. Open and close. The kick variations, do whatever is safe and comfortable for you. Weight shifts right, tap that left foot center weight shifts left tap that right foot and back to center weight shifts right tap or elevate the left foot come back to center weight shifts left tap or elevate the right foot and back to center one more time weight shifts right tap elevate or kick the left foot, weight shifts left, tap, elevate, or kick the right foot, and come back to center. Open and close. Cloud hands three times to the left. Step, stop, shift, and sweep. Step, stop, shift, and sweep. Step, stop, shift, sweep. Step, stop, shift, sweep. Step, stop, shift, come back over to the left. Stop sign, left hand, float the right hand up, back into prayer hands, open and close. That is part one. Part two opens up with cloud hands three times left. All the weights right, holding that baby. And then we step out. Step, stop, shift, sweep. Step, stop, shift, and sweep. Step, stop, shift, sweep. Step, stop, shift, and sweep. Step, stop, shift, come back over to the right like you're going to do it again. Stop sign, float the left hand up, back into prayer hands, open and close. Now, I'm going to have to do something the Tai Chi Masters didn't have to do. I have to adjust my headset. There we go. Grasping the bird's tail, grasping the swallow's tail, stroking the swallow's tail uh, to the left. Start out in cat and ball stance. Step out left and ward off. Roll back, turning the upper body to the front. And then we turn and press. And we finish with push. 
the hands to the chest, down, then pushing forward. Turn back to the front, open and close, grasping the bird's tail to the right. Cat and ball stance. Step out empty and ward off. Roll back. Turn, press, and push. Turn back to the front, open and close. <clears throat> Cloud hands three times to the right, starting with the weight on the left. And then our mantra kicks in, step, stop, shift, and sweep. Step, stop, shift, and sweep. Step, stop, shift, sweep, step, stop, shift, sweep, step, stop, shift, come back over to the left, stop sign, float the right hand up, back into prayer hands, open and close. And the closing is the same as the Tai Chi for rehab form. So the hands come out, up and out in front of us, and then we slowly straighten the knees as the hands float down. When the hands are to the side, we weight shift right and step in left and weight goes back to 50-50. And then we celebrate. Ta-da! All right. Nice. Oh, Jimmy said, red or orange? Boys seem to love bananas and jello. Oh, really? I didn't... We had a good friend of the family. She was... Um, Actually, her and I grew up together. A lot of people thought we'd end up being married. Um, she loved my mom's bananas in Jello. So um, every time we saw her, she always had to have bananas in Jello. <laughs> so um, yeah, I like the green Jello though too for some reason. So all right, ah, time to roll. Lightly punch, slap the legs. Thank you guys for joining me on a Wednesday. Uh, thank you for the great uh, conversation. Um, I appreciate it. It definitely helps as, as I'm teaching. Um, tighten up all the muscles and relax. <clears throat> Pardon me again. Tighten up all the muscles. Relax. And one more time. Tighten up those muscles and relax. And finally, gather chi. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Beautiful. Thank you guys so much. Have a great week. Um, I'll be back on the APDA channel on Friday. I'll be back here next Monday, which I believe is the 31st. Um, stay cool this week. Stay hydrated this week. If you're in St. Louis, drink plenty of water, okay? They're, they're predicting a hot one, okay? All right, you guys. Take care. Thanks for joining.